Hello, welcome to my channel. In my series on nationalism and nationalistic theories, today I will talk about uh, Max Weber's con concept of nationalism and his explanation of it. Now, he calls uh, uh, the whole idea of the nation as something connected to prestige sentiment. And then he does a little bit of negative work where he disproves all the other ethnic, linguistic, and other bases of nation, but then finally places it within the hopes and aspirations of this one community in the bourgeois culture that seeks prestige as a group, initially as, as raw power, but eventually expressed in different uh, statist models of you know, existence within a nation. Now this constituency for him is the intellectuals and what do they do? They have a specific cultural mission. So the intellectuals are the people who by one way or the other propagate the idea of the nation. And how does this group do that? Uh, because they have special access to histories to national achievements which they express but in most cases remember this perpetuation of national sentiment and idea of the nation is connected to their own self-interest or their own class interest and the reason it is connected to their interest is because they know because the longer drive of nationalism is is to create a nation state and that if these intellectuals people from a certain class of bourgeois society can create a separate nation state, then they themselves will have prestige in it and will have a privileged location in it. So overall, nationalism or concept of the nation for Weber is connected to the rise of or creation of this prestige community that everyone wants to be a part of it. The idea of that prestige community is articulated by the intellectual elite and partially also because the future, the statist future of the nation is connected to their interest. But then they also devise various means to propagate this idea of the nation. And then towards the end of this excerpt that I'm citing from, Weber defines nationalism, and I'm going to read it and then explain a little what he calls it, is that a nation is a community of sentiment which would adequately manifest itself in a state of its own. Hence, a nation is a community which normally tends to produce a state of its own. End of quotes. So it's a community of sentiment, but it is political and not necessarily cultural, and it has a telos, it has a movement towards seeking an independent state, right? You can be a nation within a nation, but as long as you don't have aspirations to becoming a nation state, you will not be viable. So overall, to conclude, so for, for Max Weber, nationalism or nation is a, a sentiment of prestige, a community of prestige perpetuated by the writers, intellectuals, and, and an elite who make it possible for people to follow whatever they are articulating as their own idea of a prestige community. Part of it is because their own interest is also connected to it, their future is connected to it, and then eventually it will terminate towards aspirations for a separate nation states, and that is why that community of sentiment is not necessarily just cultural, it always is expressed in politics. And you can see the examples of that in colonies, how the native intellectuals articulated the idea of their own nationness and their separateness from the Europeans, and then they claimed and fought for different nation states. So this is Max Weber on nationalism. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will continue recording these brief lectures on various theorizations of nation, nationalism, and 
the nation state. Thank you so much for joining me and do subscribe to the channel if you like it and I will see you next time. Peace and love.